You're not going to tell Josh you have cancer? No. And you want him to be with Cassie? I know it sounds crazy. Do you? I want Josh to be happy. I want Cassie to be happy. Well, well what about Reba? Billy, I'm dying. I mean, that's why I'm here, to, to face it. I mean, it happens to everybody. It happened to Mama. Hmm. Harlan. Hmm. Miss Martha. So now it's my time, and I just want to know that I can spend what's left of it doing the right thing, you know, making it good. God knows I have a lot to make up no, for. No, you don't. You keep looking at me like I'm crazy. Is it crazy for me to want the man that I have loved since I was 10 years old to be taken care of for the rest of his life? Josh deserves yeah, that. Yeah, he deserves it, but you're not supposed to pick out the girl. He's supposed to pick out the girl. Well, he already found her. They found each other. He's moved on, and I will be here. And if it's not Cassie, it could be someone else. Olivia could get her claws back in him, or it could be someone even worse than that. So at least with Cassie, I know that he's in good hands. So that's it. It sucks. <laughs> but that's it. Huh. No, no, no. I was just um, daydreaming, that's all. It's nice to see you. It's nice to see you. <sighs> How are you? Um. Listen, what is going on with Riva? I mean... It, it's not good. <laughs> so what else is new, right? Sorry. Yeah. Don't be sorry. I'm not sorry. Anymore. I'd like to enter into evidence a sworn deposition by two nurses employed by Cedars who overheard Ms. Winslow and Ms. Spaulding's conversation. Perhaps you can read it aloud. Start on line 21, your line. She told Ms. Spaulding, you just tell them the truth. You thought you were shooting an intruder. Skip down to Lizzie's answer there. Ms. Spaulding said, but I knew, Tammy, I knew it was my granddad. That's why I shot him. Lizzie was upset when she said that. She wasn't thinking straight. So in other words, she was delusional. No, I, I didn't say that. But Mel, you can't let them take me away, Jonathan. Just stay calm, okay? You're not giving me a chance to explain. What is there to explain, Ms. Winslow? The way I see it, there are only two logical explanations. Either Lizzie's mentally unstable, or she's an attempted murderer. Which is it? Your Honor, it calls for conclusion that this witness is not qualified to make. I withdraw the question, Your Honor. No, no, I want to answer it. Lizzie's not crazy. She's not a murderer. Your Honor. Uh, Miss Winslow, that will be all. Uh, unless, of course, you have something, Miss Bauer? No, Your Honor. But I would like to ask for a short recess to review this deposition. I mean, this is the first I'm hearing of it. Uh, we'll take 15 minutes. This court is now in recess. Hmm. 
And what did I miss? Victory. Why didn't you tell me about this? I didn't know it was going to come out. It shouldn't have. Thanks, Tammy. I'm sorry. I feel horrible. It's okay. We'll fix it. Oh, well, I'm glad you're confident. I thought you were my friend. I am. Yeah, right. Just hold on Hold a on second. to what, Hope? Because I don't have any anymore. What did you want me to do, lie? I would have done that to protect you. Lizzie! Lizzie, don't. Slow down now. Look, everything's going to be all right. No, it's not. He's going to take my baby. He's going to lock me no. up. Shh. You have to be strong. Right now, more than ever, okay? You cannot go back in there and let them see you cry. It's all for that little baby inside there, all right? Just help me. Help me, and Alex. All you right. promised me the granddad wouldn't take this baby from me. Just stop him. Stop him before it's too oh. late. Hey. I didn't mean to mess everything up. You didn't. That's not what Mel seems to think. Well, that's skank ambushed you. You didn't know that anybody heard you and Lizzie talking that day. Okay, but even if I had, I still would have had to tell the truth. Mom's here. With Josh. No, good thing. Go talk to her. <clears throat> I'm gonna go find Mel. Is it all right that I came back? All I wanted to do was help. All I wanted to do was make things easier for the guy that I love. Sometimes you can't. Do you remember what it was like when you uh, finally had to just, what, give up on Billy? Uh, remember? <laughs> it was terrible. Well, obviously, it was a struggle for you, then. Months and months and months and months. And at some point, there was, uh, what, a last straw sort of thing? There's always a last straw, isn't there? I kind of feel like, you know, I walked through a door and slammed it behind me, and now it's locked shut forever, and there's no turning back. But but at the same time, I do feel like I'm ready to move on, so. Are you seeing anybody? Vanessa. Oh, oh hi. <laughs> oh, Have hi. you been in town long? Oh, no, just a little quick visit. I was just... Don has been having some problems, and I... Yeah, okay, I'm gonna go. It's great to see you. Great to see you. Take care, both of you. Hey, Sarah. I'm, uh... I'm really scared. No, I'm not a mad. I'm mad at your daughter. She's... She's the stubbornest thing in this whole world, I'm telling you. Oh, that's news right there. He must have heard me say a hundred times I'm gonna kill her. Well, now the cancer's doing that. Can't you do something? I mean, you were the best thing that ever was when you were down here. You gotta have some extra pull. I mean, can't you, can't you do something, anything? I know she's going, I just... I don't want to let her go. Please. So, um, did you have a good time in New York? Yeah, it was incredible. Thanks for asking. It was incredible. Seeing you honored by the military. It was well-deserved. Okay, well, Reba, so what, what is this about, really? I mean, <laughs> why did you arrange this fake meeting once again i just don't understand what's going on here with you I, you follow me to new york you show up at the intrepid you congratulate me and then you take off well this is your moment i see and whose moment is this i've been thinking a lot about what you said to me the other day how you needed someone to lean on you needed someone that could depend on you and that that person is Cassie. Where are you going with this? When I came back to town and I saw the two of you together, I... I overreacted. Yes. Well, it doesn't matter anymore. It matters to me. I'd like to talk about it. 
Really? You want to talk? That's great. Why don't we, let's talk then. Let's talk honestly. Finally, let's, let's start with this. Why did you walk away from me? Answer me, Reva. Because I need... I need to know. I need to understand. Why did you walk away from me? At one of the most important moments in my entire life. I was trying to protect you. I'm still waiting, Reva. Explain it to me. Why did you walk away? I don't know if I can. I mean, we had so many problems all last year, you know, and then we got back together. I mean, even you have to admit that that just came out of nowhere. We ripped up the divorce papers and we kind of swept everything under the carpet and we never really dealt with any of it. And then I went away to see Mara, and when I came back, we were so caught up in enjoying the fact that we weren't fighting anymore, enjoying the fact that we were living without any drama, but it wasn't real because there was still drama. So it wasn't real. Oh, it's just it's funny to me how two people can see the same situation so differently. I, yeah. I mean, yeah, we... we, we we still had our problems, but we, we agreed that we were going to fix them, that we were going to work through them, and that's exactly what we were doing until you basically stopped. Yeah, well, things got in the way. We get blindsided. Blindsided by what? There's something else, isn't there, Rayville? Was it Billy? Is that it? Did you just basically run off with my older brother? Hit me again, Dave. How about a water this time? I don't want water. Excuse me, is there, is there a problem here? No, there's no problem. Just want a gin and tonic easy on the ice. You know, there's nothing wrong with slowing down. Slowing down? Well, how's that work when you're trying to forget? Yeah. as happy to see me as your brother Josh. You, you saw Josh? Yeah, and Reva. They were together? Well, sort of, yeah. I mean, they were downtown, and I left them and came here to see you. <laughs> you did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, it's good to see you. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so what are you doing? Are you here visiting Dinah? Yeah, I am. Mm. She's been having a rough time of it recently, but... Good, she's got her mom. Yeah. Although I'd say from the looks of you, Billy Lewis, you need me more than she does. Look, you just put them on the stand and tear them apart. The story is true. Well, Helen's lawyer could do it. Look, I know these women, okay? They're they're good women with with impeccable reputations. They heard what they heard. Oh, so what? He's won? He gets to lock me up and take my baby now? Just remember what I said going into this, okay? The courts are reluctant to take a baby away from its mother, especially a newborn. And Jonathan, you have rights too as a father, so you guys need to just stay optimistic and calm, okay? The judge is watching you very closely. <sighs> just ignore oh, yeah, him. Yeah, how am I supposed to do that? They're probably going to get their net and straitjacket. 
loony bin. Seriously, I won't survive there, Jonathan. Thank you again, Doctor, for being here. Anytime I can be of service, Mr. Spaulding. That elevator doesn't get here in a second. I'm going to throw you down the stairs. I saw that. Alan Michael may be CEO of the company, but I am still head of this family. And as head of this family, that gives you the right to terrorize your granddaughter at will? Someone has to make the difficult decisions. <laughs> You're just lucky I wasn't the one that shot you myself, Alan. Because I assure you, the bullets would have been real, not blanks. Careful with the threats. You see where it led Elizabeth. Well, you're never going to take another child away from its mother. And who is going to stop me? Court is back in session. Okay. Come on. is a single mother of questionable mental health living in an environment with two people who clearly have no legal ties to her it's this situation that has driven miss spaulding to extremes she feels alone and scared and desperate and why wouldn't she for all intents and purposes she and her baby are alone let her family take care of her and her baby your honor that's all we ask Ms. Bauer. Thank you, Your Honor. My client is a young woman who is about to have a baby for the first time. She isn't married, and she isn't getting the support from her family. In fact, her family has been fighting with her for a good portion of her pregnancy, which, speaking as a doctor, has put undue stress on, on both the mother and the baby. Now, granted, Lizzie's living situation uh, excuse is... Excuse me, uh, Judge. Jonathan! I have something I need to say before you make your decision. Now, it, it's fine. It'll... This is gonna change everything. Marcy Ryland, Inside the Light. Lizzie's best trait, she really goes after what she wants. I enjoy how much drama Lizzie causes. <laughs> it's really fun to get to do all that. I like that. See Lizzie, Wednesday, September 6th, Inside the Light. Thanks. Ah, well, uh, iced tea for what ails you. Yeah, so they don't look that good, huh? Well, I've seen you look better. I've seen you look worse. Bad day? Mm. Definitely. Want to tell me about it? Oh, I hate I don't want to burden you with my problems. Oh, come on. I mean, really. It took us forever to get to be friends, but we are, so tell me. It's about a woman. Oh. No, wait, 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 not, not like that. She's just my friend. Me and Billy? You think we're together? You tell me. Oh, Joshua. I guess it is pretty obvious, huh? Billy's always been my perfect partner in crime. I'm the perfect... So... Is that a yes? Well, you know, you were so busy working on the project, and 
I got bored and I felt like kicking up my heels and Billy was there. I'm sure he was. Oh, no, it wasn't like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what? You don't have to paint me a picture. I get it. It's fine. Uh, you, uh, you wanted to go off on adventures and Billy was happy to oblige. I guess uh, he finally got what he wanted. I, I never really wanted this to happen. But, wait a minute. That's not true. I... I did. She's married. She's married? Yes, she's married. And, and, and she's been having a lot of trouble. And she's been doing to me instead of her husband. Well, I mean, is this a... Is this a really big burden that she's asking you to carry? Huge. Um, she didn't want me to carry it. She didn't want anybody to carry it. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm in now. I mean... Well, doesn't she have anybody else? No. And, uh... I, I'm... I'm kind of afraid I, I'm not going to be able to handle it. I thank God for Billy every day. I never would have gotten through these past few months without him. Spare me the details, Reva. I really don't want to hear it. This is hard. Honesty usually is. You still uh, haven't completely admitted it, though. You know, come clean. Just say it. You're having an affair with Billy. Yes. Yeah. Billy and I are having an affair. Are you in love with this woman? Yeah, it wouldn't make any difference because she doesn't feel that way about me. Mm, great. So that must be pretty painful and frustrating. Well, you know, I, the really frustrating thing is that I'm, I'm seriously afraid that I'm going to let her down. I mean, I'll let you down, I'll let everybody down, so. I don't think you're giving yourself any credit. None whatsoever. I mean, you did, you did make some bad mistakes when we were married. <laughs> but so did I. Yeah. <laughs> and, um. You really gave me a lot of happiness, Billy. So. You gave me a lot, too. Yeah. So. Okay, I don't live here anymore, but I, I come here enough, and, and I, I see that you've changed. You really have. You're stronger. You are not going to let this friend down. Not a chance. Well, this is good. It's finally out, you know, me and Billy. You and Cassie. Cassie and I aren't together. What? We've decided not to pursue a relationship. I don't understand. I thought... Yeah, so did I. What happened? I really don't think I want to talk to you about this. I'll see you later. Your Honor, what could Mr. Randall possibly have to say of any credibility in this matter? I don't know, Miss Sharp, but that is my decision, not yours. Please. Just hear me out. You won't be sorry that you did. Uh, you are the father of the child. You obviously have a vested interest in these proceedings. Thanks, Judge. Um, I didn't want to have a kid, especially not with Lizzie. It was a one-night stand. It was a stupid mistake. Jonathan! Uh, uh, Mel, just let me talk. It's cool. Uh, yeah, please uh, continue, Mr. Randall, but just get to the point. Okay. Um, I grew up with an abusive father. He would kick the crap out of me all the time for no reason at all. Um, I think that kind of messed me up. Point is, I never thought I'd have a kid of my own, um, but stuff happens. And when I found out that Lizzie was pregnant with my baby, I wanted to walk away. <laughs> I mean, I wanted to run away, but um, things changed. 
Uh, I don't know how or why. I, uh, I saw a sonogram. I went through some stuff with my mom. Regardless, I'm going to be a dad. And I'm going to be an okay one, I think. Um, I will try my best. Anyway. Well, that's good to know. But um, about Miss Spaulding. Yeah. Um, th that's what I really wanted to say. About Lizzie. She grew up rich and spoiled, and she's definitely made many mistakes. But she stepped up. Yes, she lied about me being the father of that kid. But who cares? She did it because she loves that baby and she wants it to be brought up in the best possible way. She's gonna be a good mom. I can tell. I mean, she would do anything to protect our baby, especially from Alan. You want to talk about crazy? That guy, his kids are all whacked. Uh, Mr. Randall. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I mean, this is the future of my daughter I'm talking about. You said before that Lizzie has no one with her, no one to take care of her and the baby. No, that's not true. And I want to prove it to you. What are you saying? Lizzie, we need to raise this baby together. Just you and me. Will you marry me? If you ever need me, just whistle, okay? I'm not that far away. Thanks. I will. Good. Look, I'm probably being really bossy here, but <laughs> would you just be careful? Because I think that you have a lot of feelings for your friend, and just I managed to hang in there this long. I think I can just keep on keeping on. Oh, I do too. I do too. I mean, you're a good man. And... <laughs> oh. I love you. I love you. Okay. Let's go. Let's go. She's waiting. <laughs> What do you say? You wanted to know why I went away. Yeah, well, that's a $64,000 question, isn't it? I tried not to tell him anything, but that made him even angrier. <sighs> I'll bet. So I had to come up with something else. Actually, Joshua thought of it. I just kind of went along with it. What was it? Well, you're going to think it's funny, actually. Um, uh -oh. You're going to laugh. <laughs> yeah, OK. What? I had to make sure that he believed it hmm? so that he'd stop asking me. So I told him that we were having an affair. <gasps> Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, please, Your Honor. This is ludicrous. This is not a real proposal. This is a stunt, don't you see? Order, order. Elizabeth is not even his real girlfriend. His real girlfriend is Tammy. They're engaged. Mr. Spaulding, please. Don't you see? He's scamming you, Your Honor. Mr. Spaulding, sit down. Mr. Randall. The purpose of these proceedings is to determine whether or not Miss Spaulding represents a danger to her unborn child. I know. I understand that. And I know it probably seems like she's been really out there lately. But that is because her grandfather is trying to make her seem crazy. Oh, Your Honor, that is not No, I can keep her and the baby safe. And just as important, I can make her feel safe. Mr. Spaulding raises a legitimate concern. What about your girlfriend, Miss Winslow? Where does this leave her? Well, uh, Tammy and I were very close. Um, but when Lizzie got pregnant, we knew that the baby would come between us, and we decided that 
my future should be with Lizzie and the kid. Your Honor, please tell me you're not buying this two-bit proposal. It's ludicrous. Alan, Alan. Mr. Randall, my responsibility is to protect the welfare of your child above all others. If this proposal is not legitimate, I am not going to like it very much. I know. I want to show you how serious I am. We want to get married tomorrow. And you can read us our vows. I mean, you do that, right? Yes. Well, good. Then it's all set. Oh, no, not quite. I'm not convinced that a marriage between the two of you will solve anything. Uh, if you don't love each other, what's the point? Your Honor, may I say something? Start sleeping again. <laughs> You're bad. Who we'll set the desert to the grain of sand? <laughs> I know, Jonathan. And he would not have asked Lizzie to marry him if he didn't intend to make it work. Ms. Winslow, from all reports, Mr. Randall is in love with you, and vice versa. I love him enough to let him go. This baby means the world to him, and he's going to be an amazing father. Still, marrying for the sake of a child is not a good reason. Well, there's more to it than that. I mean, I've seen the connection between these two growing right along with the baby. I've seen what they would do to keep that baby safe and look out for each other. You make a good argument, Miss Winslow. At this point in time, I don't think it serves the welfare of the child to place Ms. Elizabeth Spaulding under protective custody, other than that of her husband-to-be, Jonathan Randall. However, this court is going to watch this situation very closely. And if I find out you have lied to this court or that this marriage is not legitimate, there will be very serious consequences. Good luck. This proceeding is adjourned. Your Honor, this is unbelievable. I mean... Thank you so much. Well, I know that this is just for show. It's nice that they was born. Yeah, I get it. Of course. Thanks, babe. Thank you again. Mel. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's go. We have a lot of planning to do. Yeah, but Tammy... Can't be a part of this, Jonathan, no matter how much we want her to be. Nice dog and pony show, but it's not gonna work. Because I'm gonna have you follow 24 hours a day till I prove that this proposal is nothing but a fraud. Knock yourself out. We got a wedding to plan.
text on guiding light. Guess we should take this off now, too. Tammy, thanks for doing this for me and my baby. If this is a real marriage, I am certain that they will have to consummate it. Today is the day that we all become a family. Mr. Lizzie Spaulding. Days. This has been Guiding Light. CBS Daytime's got what you want. I just want Nick to feel as hurt as I feel. What did you do last night? She's my mother. She cannot find out. I have something I need to say, but this is going to change everything. CBS Daytime.